Durst the worst. Oh, Durst the worst. Durst is the worst. Durst 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 the worst. Dude, don't grab my shit. Holy crap. Don't record. Consent, right? Jeez. Don't record me. Why not? Dude, So can, can I ask you why do you think why do you think that abortion is like seemingly the number one issue for so many women like the ability to do that sometimes on the taxpayer dime Hey so what was your name by the way Dan Durst Charity Charity nice, nice to meet you Sarah yes. Hi hi Sorry It's cool it's cool it's cool So are you from here Yes Nice You couldn't tell from the uh, yeah there hey accent Yeah there you go yep. Yeah yeah, I'm from here. Yeah, I uh, I do like a independent media kind of thing. Uh -huh. Not a, not a journalist per se, but okay. you know. Yeah. Hey, you can't trust the media. You can't just listen to whatever they say. So sometimes you have to make their own. Hey, your media. What's up with that? Why are you why are you dissing on us, media? No, I got yeah, I got. <laughs> I had an Antifa guy whip my phone in a storm drain in Berkeley. Are you serious? Yeah. So he whipped my phone into a storm drain and it busted up. So I'm in a similar. I was in a similar position. Well, not if they respect property. You know? So like, what? Why do you think so many? Like, this is troubling for me. Like, so many women I encounter think that that's like the top issue, whether or not I agree with them that they should be able to abort, and I I need to agree that the government should be funding it. Well, a lot of. And if, if you if you're a guy nowadays who doesn't adhere to that belief system, you are basically dateless. <laughs> like, well, for for. Women. I mean, uh, you know. A lot of women want to set themselves up as God and have okay. control over um, over their own lives and their own bodies. Um, and through that idolatry, um, you know, they just expect you to bow to that too. So they want you to give them a uh, full right to whatever they want with other people's lives, um, so they got more you know their lives. Um, right. Full right to do whatever they want with their bodies. So if you don't bow to that system and that um, that idolatrous attitude. And there you go, you're dateless. I guess that's what this culture is today. So you can keep, that, you can sort of keep your mouth shut and like not pursue the issue, and then yeah, and then sort of yeah, then you can kind of humor people's sensibilities. Um, it's a little suffocating though. Yeah, I just never I've never understood I've never understood why that's like the number one issue for so many gals yeah. out there. Well, it's an agenda. Want you to and, um, go along with whatever their belief system is. So, um, it's just an agenda to silence men and women of faith. Or right. women who, you know, adhere to, like, traditional morals. I'm a, I mean, children. I'm a secular person, and I, I've, I used to be, throughout my 20s, I used to be way more progressive, or whatever you want to call it, way more pro-abortion. But I think in recent times, I've kind of shifted a little bit on it. I like, yeah. I know. Uh, even if it isn't of a heartbeat, you have to be taking it nutrients, it's growing, it's and it's a life, you know. Um, so, yeah. That's what's up. And um, people want to take that away so that they can have sex with whatever, whoever they want. Right, right. I, I, yeah, feminists have chased dads out of the house for the sure. Of so many problems in America today, and it's really unfortunate. So, what makes you? Why do you say that you're a secular person? Uh, where does that idea? Explain that to me. What does that mean? Just not, not, not aligned with any sort of in, uh, institution of religion. It's basically what it means. Uh, um. So I also. I'm not, uh, don't align myself with any institution of religion, but I align myself with Jesus Christ. 
sure. Uh, relationship with him. Uh, we talk pretty much on the daily. Um, he loves me with all his heart. He died on the cross for me 2,000 years ago. So, um, the institution of religion is something that Jesus came against. He came against people who were only there for him to work, you know, without relationship. Do you think the Catholic Church counts as that? Because that's what I, I, for three years I went to a Catholic school. Right. That did, in fact, give me a little bit of a sour taste. Right. Were you hurt by that? The, uh, you hurt by that experience, like, in the Catholic school? Well, I mean, it, it could just be bro more broadly, like, school in general, I think. I think should be uh, non-compulsory. I don't think it should be mandatory. I think that... You mean, uh... So it could have just... was mandatory almost? I'm saying that school in general should not be mandatory. And I think that could have been brought more broadly what hurt me. But I think the uh, hardline religious aspect might have been an another uh, component to that. Uh -huh. So explain to me by so. hardline religious aspect, what did you go through in the environment? Uh, well, I don't know. Is this like a therapy sesh? I don't, I'm not sure. I mean, well, it was I just sort of like rigid. I and just want to meet you where you're at and uh, hear like, what you say. It's just It was just rigid, rigid rules that I didn't... I'm sorry. Uh, that I didn't really think made much sense. Uh, and uh, I think that coming to a, you know, a moral system, is, it, it's not, it's not being particularly religious doesn't preclude one from developing a moral system, in my opinion. Like, for instance, I'm secular. I still came to the conclusion that abortion is not particularly awesome. And, and the whole gay agenda, the tra I, I was just at a drag queen story hour thing reporting, or not reporting, but like documenting that yesterday. I was, you know, I was critiquing that. I had like 20 of these people like calling me a bunch of names, like surrounding me. I was just taking all of them on. Um, so what I, I guess like I'm a secular person, but I already come to what I think is a fairly decent moral system. Like don't indoctrinate, don't like, <laughs> don't sexualize kids with drag queen story hour. Don't. Uh, what do you think happens to us? I have no idea, really. I have no opinion on that one. No, because before I existed, I obviously had no opinion on it, so why would I after I don't exist? It's fine. It's whatever. So, um... Jeez. Brenda, so... Taking your... If, uh, if they believe that they're, uh, what's good for them, what's best for them, abortion and you're out here trying to quote unquote take what is theirs and they believe that their right is abortion rights and it's gay rights um then like your standard by which you can judge morality is not right um because it shifts at the same uh it's not something that's outside of this country outside of this universe outside of like all the world is here um, that's fine you need a factor that's something outside of you that's a standard by which you measure so uh, what I'm still trying to understand is what is that for you? Because you continue to say like common good, then you say cultural good, then you say. Like, I think you might have imputed you might have imputed that in, in my words. I think that if it's not basically, I don't f with you, you don't f with me. Well, uh, so survival of the fittest. No, no, no. It's we still need rule of law. We still need anti-murder, anti-theft, anti-rape, you know, stuff like that, because all of those things violate someone else's autonomy. So how do you determine, um... We are, I mean, we are, we've already been over that, it's just my opinion. It's my, it's my opinion that murder is wrong, it's my opinion that theft is wrong, it's my opinion that rape is wrong. It's my opinion that they are absolutely insane, and by the way, people like that, are often in positions of like education. <laughs> you know that you're of course aware of that. That people like yes. that are not only like higher education, but they're pushing like the transgender well, agenda they're, they're in college professors. and like kindergarten. You know. Oh wow! Check that out. I didn't know this was uh, yep. defytyrants.com. You guys are getting a lot of accusations from the opposing group. They got a bunch of like blown up board saying that like the leaders said this that or the other uh, that what that uh i believe activist mom was her name was allegedly quoted as saying like beat your kids or whatever right. is that true uh, not at all um, do they just make that up yeah they definitely do um so for the shimmy of the board of gender spanking so therefore that's beating your children oh that is a little bit um, creepy though i think uh, smack on the hand when they're misbehaving. Um, they don't understand English, but they understand a second of hand mistake. 
Yikes. Um, and it's always done in love, you know, not anger. But that's something I believe she's I believe in. I believe. I mean, I believe in peaceful parenting. Uh -huh. In fact, I don't. I don't know if uh, I would even be able to dole out punishment if I was a parent. Uh -huh. Honestly, well, you know, we believe in. Um, you also believe in peaceful, uh, peaceful government. But look, these police officers like, they are part of peaceful government. They inflict pain at times. That keeps people in line. Oftentimes, it keeps people uh, from getting out of line. We have like, I mean, you're in Milwaukee. Are you not? Are you from? Was it North Carolina? Okay, sorry. Yeah. It's Milwaukee has like hundreds of murders every year. Overwhelmingly, this is something the left tends to not want to acknowledge. It's overwhelmingly black on black. Like they never want to talk about. They also never want to talk about how abortion is like three to one uh, black uh, abortion to white abortion. Um, oh yeah, they, they want to like that. Love to call you racist if you know you know the whole drill. Oh yeah, I kind of wish that. I mean, it sounds sounds sort of macabre or whatever. Or like. But I kind of wish that these two groups could, like, actually interface huh. and sort of, like, interface, like, sort of, like, interact, sort right, of. Right, right. Well, for me personally, um, I just want to share the love of Jesus Christ with them because um, he's changed my life from the inside out and um, given me the hope of eternal life. And right. So I just want to overflow with that and communicate that to them um, because Do you you know, think I, used you're... Having, I used to have anxiety at night. I used to not be able to sleep. Um, I've been very hurt by the church, by religion, I was molested in trial, and uh, the love of Jesus has come into my life and transformed me, changed me from the inside out. And so I just want to like spill that over to them and see that you know, overflow to their lives. Um, and I want to see them deliver. I want to see them deliver from addiction to pornography, to drugs. Um, I want to see them heal from things that have broken them in their past, such as their father rejecting them or hurting them or being raped. Right. Um, and I, I would love to see them face off. Like, you know, I'd love to see them Ultimately, like, we're proud of love. They're not. They're here out of anger um, and I think bitterness. They're pumped about it. They're pumped about yeah. telling me, like, things like, oh, yeah, I want you specifically to fund the abortion. Uh -huh. You specifically. They said that They said that to me yesterday at the uh, Drag Queen Story Hour thing. They said, you specifically, Dan, you're going to be funding it. Yeah. Just to rub it in my face. Yeah, it's an agenda. It's an agenda. Uh, you support it. You back it. Or uh, otherwise you're against it. It makes so. You're an enemy. Well, they relish in inflicting this sort of, like, sadistic, uh, you know, like, again, just rubbing your face in the fact that you're paying for it, in, in a sense. I mean, I know the, the Hyde Amendment prohibits federal funding to go to abortion, but the funding does go to the facilities, which indirectly support it, so. Right. I'm getting faint. I'm going to tell you what now. I'm getting thirsty. <laughs> Hi, bitch!